lovely people and welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today I will be showing you a day off from university in Japan. I normally have to wake up really early at about 6 or 6.30 because I'm staying with a host family and I commute for over an hour to get to the university. So on my day off, I didn't have classes, so I allowed myself to wake up naturally without an alarm and therefore I slept until almost 10 a.m. which I rarely do these days, but it was such a wonderful treat. And then after that, I decided to start my day off right by making my bed, washing my face, and generally just trying to get in the mindset to have a happy and productive day off. After that, I went upstairs where, as usual, my host mom's cat was waiting for me, but pretended like he wasn't waiting for me, but he doesn't know I got it on camera. After that, I prepared to eat the breakfast that my host mom's friend had so kindly left out for me. If you've seen some of my other videos, you might know that my host mom actually owns her own cafe slash restaurant, and her friend is the chef in that restaurant and so we eat there every night and it's absolutely delicious. I had this noodle sandwich which I've never had before and it was definitely a carb city but it was pretty good and I also had this egg and vegetable sandwich and some fruit and some salad. As I ate, I did some start of day journaling and I listed out all the things that I wanted to accomplish today. I realized that recently I've been procrastinating a lot of things, even things that are really quite quick and simple to do, so I made a list and I drew a line down the middle to separate things that were really quick and simple like paying my credit card and sending some emails, and some things that would take more time to do, like working on a job application, uh, doing my homework for my classes, and planning my February break during which I think I will want to go to Tokyo. So after making that list, I felt better knowing that all the things that I've been procrastinating, they were written down and I was feeling ready to do them. And so after a little break to say hi to the cats, I opened up my computer and I got to work. I started out by doing some of the things I had listed as being very quick and simple to do. Most of these were actually just emails I had to send but had been procrastinating for quite a while for some reason. Each of them only took literally a couple minutes to write and send, and as I did that I already started to feel a lot better and less overwhelmed. I recommend that if you also feel overwhelmed by everything on your to-do list, see if you can make a list of the things that will take less than five minutes to do, and then try and just do them. Don't overthink it. Try and do those quick things, and you'll be able to cross some things off your to-do list. After a couple hours, I decided it was time for me to go to the grocery store. It was extremely cold, but I was still pretty excited to go. Even though it's just a grocery store, I was excited to walk around and look around because I really love looking at different stores in different places, especially in different countries. Even if I don't buy anything, I really have a lot of fun doing it. So I started walking to the grocery store, which was only an 8 or 10 minute walk away, so it was really convenient. As I walked, the fresh and cold air really helped wake me up and lifted my mood. I first went to the snacks aisle because every week in my Japanese society and history class, someone will bring some fun snacks for the whole class, and this was my week. So I got some delicious looking strawberry cookies and chocolate cookies, and then I saw these little ice cream cone shaped cookies, and I had to get them too. After that, I noticed this whole wall of jellies which are pretty popular in Japan, and so I decided to get a bag of these little assorted jellies 
to bring with me to class. The store also had a very extensive bakery section, including these pink and green and white mochi, which are actually one of Nagoya's famous foods. Let's look around and see some of the fun foods in this store, starting with the bakery section. There were so many different breads and cakes and pastries, and they all looked so delicious. There was also a huge candy section, mostly gummies, which are also very popular in Japan. Most of these are chewy, fruit-flavored gummies. There was also a big refrigerated section of drinks, including coffee beverages. Another fun thing to look at was all the prepared food. In the store, there were so many different prepared meals that looked like something you could get from a restaurant. And the prices were pretty good too. The only issue was that I didn't see a lot of options for vegetarians, which I am, and so I didn't end up getting one of these, but it was still fun to look at all of them and admire how nice they looked. I thought about getting this tofu and vegetable roll, but then I looked closer and I couldn't tell if these little pink bits were caviar, so I decided not to get it and instead headed over to the cereal aisle to get my favorite strawberry cereal. I looked in the fruit section and don't these grapes look so delicious? However, I couldn't bring myself to spend $7 on grapes, so instead I got this little fruit cup that included one of the grapes in it and some other delicious fruit as well. And then I went to check out, and compared to US prices, I was pleasantly surprised with how affordable everything was. Then I packed up and made the short walk back home. On the way out, I saw a takoyaki cart. Takoyaki is another one of Japan's famous food. They're these little balls that have octopus in them. By the time I got back, I was really hungry, so I had a late lunch of the fruit and the cereal that I had bought, and as I did that, continued to do some work on my computer. Unfortunately, I dropped my precious grape in my milk, but I still ate it and it was still delicious, so no harm done. After eating lunch, I continued to do some work. I did some of my homework and I finished sending those emails that I had been procrastinating so much. And guess what? It was really easy. So I really don't know why I had been procrastinating it so much. Later at 7 p.m., my host mom brought me to her cafe slash restaurant to have dinner with her and some of her friends. By then it was pretty dark, which made me sleepy. So it felt good to be going out to the cafe. When I got there, I saw that the chef had made my absolute favorite Japanese food. The previous day, she had asked what it was, and I told her it's Japanese curry with spinach and cheese and scrambled egg, and she made it, which really touched my heart. It was so delicious and so warm, which made it the perfect food for this cold day. After I got back home, it was time for me to do my part-time job, which is that I work as a private tutor over Zoom. Today, I just had an hour-long session with a very young but very bright student who I definitely enjoy working with. I've been doing this job for at least two and a half years now, and sometimes it can definitely be really frustrating to schedule it and balance it with academics and personal projects, 
But all in all, it's been a good way to make money and I'm really grateful for it. After that, I got ready for bed and did some skincare. I love doing face masks because they make my skin feel so refreshed, although it made me look very creepy, as I continued to do just a little more work on my computer. After that, I FaceTimed with my girlfriend, which was really lovely, and then after a while, I finally went to bed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!